Hey guys, I'm Lucas from iExplore and we're here in Shibuya, okay? And behind us is this really cool LED wall that you can see. And today what I want to teach you is how to get a really nice silhouette photo in an urban environment that's backlit by, in this case, a really cool colorful LED light. All right, so take a look at these photos. I think I have a couple of shots that you can take a look at that I've shot here before. They're all a little bit different, but this, they have the same basic concept uh, in them, okay? So, we'll let Chica try, all right? And I'll explain how to do the composition over there. So Let's come over together. here with me, guys. Yeah. So before we get to shooting and composition and all that, let's talk about settings, okay? Now often I shoot my street photography in aperture mode with auto ISO and you can see other videos on this channel that will explain that. But for this shot, I like to do manual. I like shooting manual in this spot for two reasons. One is because it's just more consistent overall. I know I'll get the exact same exposure for every single shot, which is great. But the second reason is that the camera might struggle a little bit with that exact scene. You know, the LEDs are very bright, the people in the foreground are very dark. Um, we want them to be dark in the photo because we want a silhouette effect, but the camera doesn't really know that, so it might overexpose them. Anyway, to just rule all that stuff out, we're gonna go with manual. So, what are my settings for this shot? We're gonna go with uh, F4. F4, okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go with uh, five hundredth of a second for the shutter speed. 500. Okay, five hundred. Mm -hmm. That's for two reasons. One, we want to kind of underexpose the people and expose the LEDs properly to get the beautiful colors. But the um, the other thing is that the people will be moving through our shot, and I think for a silhouette, getting a crystal clear, like really sharp edge to the people's you know silhouette is good. And to do that, we need a pretty fast shutter speed. So that's why we're doing a five hundred. And the ISO is going to be eight hundred. 800 ISO, yeah, manual ISO with 800. And that should give us, you know, pretty close to the correct exposure, mm -hmm. all right? Okay, Chica, so here we are. We got the LEDs in front of us, mm -hmm. okay? What the key thing to keep in mind is you want to zoom until you don't see anything but the front LED and the back LED. Mm -hmm. And then you want to move yourself left and right to kind of align them so that all you have in your entire frame is just LED walls, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you just wait for people to walk by that far LED over there, okay? Okay. So try it, try a couple shots. Through the video, it's a little hard to see exactly how this composition works, but the key takeaway is that when you arrive at a scene that's kind of, I would say, even less than ideal for the shot that you envision, you know, you might see these LEDs and think, wow, they would make for a great silhouette shot. But when you try to take the shot, you realize, ah, but it's not a continuous wall, it's like two different pieces, you know, I can't quite get it. So what you need to do is really move around and try it from different angles. That's what Chica is doing right now. She's kind of moving around um, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, just to get that exact sweet spot and then waiting for people to walk through the scene and you get a nice silhouette. There you go. And then of course waiting for the right colors or the colors that you want because they keep changing. And I can see your photos as they appear and they're very good. And that's what we want. Yeah. And you see why we wanted to underexpose to get a more black, right? So th this is pretty good. It could even be darker, but you can do that in Photoshop, right? Okay. All right, guys, so we're done shooting in that spot over there with the LEDs. We came over here where it's a little bit quieter, kind of around the corner. It's still not that quiet because it's Shibuya. <laughs> so how, how was that? What did you think of that shot, Chico? Uh, I gotta go back again. Uh, I thought so, yeah. We, I was seeing your photos and, you know, they were overall good, but we didn't get that perfect moment, right? Mm -hmm. And that's just street photography. That's how it is. You gotta come back, you gotta try again. Um, I tell this to people who join our workshops especially the street photography workshop, you know, I'll teach you how to get the photos, but you might have to come back or you might have to take that concept to another location. The point is to learn the skills to use them somewhere else. All right, anyway, that's it for today. Um, subscribe, like the video, please. Please leave a comment if with any questions or any suggestions for future videos, and we'll see you next time.